AFCON 2023 or 2024, depending how you look at it, got underway on Saturday with Ivory Coast winning 2-0 over Guinea-Bissau in the kickoff game. Now, I suggested an Ivory Coast win and under four goals, so that was a good start to AFCON betting. Let's look into five matches happening across Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday now across groups A, B, C, and E. Here are two parlays covering these five games. Now, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more AFCON picks during the tournament. Looking into this first parlay, let's go to Nigeria and Equatorial Guinea on Sunday morning. The Super Eagles come in ranked 42nd. They have one of the top attacks in the tournament in qualifying. They went 5-0-1. They scored the most goals with 22. Now that strength has taken a bit of a hit with, with injuries to Sadiq Kumar and Victor Boniface as well as some others. But they still have Victor Osman who led all scores in qualifying and others capable of getting on the score sheet as well. Nigeria lost a warm-up match with Guinea 2-0 on January 8th, but they had been undefeated in seven games prior, where they had scored in all seven games for a total of 17 goals. But they also conceded now a goal in five straight games, as well as eight goals in those five games. Equatorial Guinea are 88th. They're ranked, and they've only been, in four, been to AFCON four times. They made it to at least the quarterfinals, though, each time, including the last tournament in 2021. Equatorial Guinea drew Djibouti 1-1 on January 9th in a tune-up game. They're now undefeated in 10 games. They've scored a goal in 8 of 10 games. And the under is also 8-2 in those last 10 games for Equatorial Guinea. Now, these teams haven't played since a friendly in 2015, so there's very little to no recent head-to-head -head history. This looks like it should be a Nigeria win. They are favored to win, but they are missing some players. They have a weak defense. Guinea had, uh, Equatorial Guinea has been in good form. A lot of close games with the under hitting. So possibly it could be both teams to score, maybe an under. For this parlay, let's just go Nigeria to score. Next in this parlay, also on Sunday, Egypt and Mozambique. This would be a big upset if Osman Bust of Mozambique, the 111th ranked team, upset the Pharaohs of Egypt, who are 33rd. Egypt are minus 275 favorites, depending where you look, that's about the number. Mozambique has never won a game at AFCON, and they have lost 10 of their historical 12 matches in the previous four tournaments. Egypt has the most finals appearances, 10. The most five titles wins, 7. And they've been in five of the past nine finals. They lost in the 2021 final in PKs to Senegal. Egypt has won all four all-time meetings between these teams by a 7 to nothing combined score. However, the last one was way back in 2013, so very little to compare uh, for this uh, tournament right now. Egypt war warmed up with a 2 to nothing win over Tanzania, January 7th. They had now just one loss in all of 2023, and that was against Tunisia, one of, one of the better African teams. They were also 12-1-1 in their past 14 games. They've kept 10 clean sheets, and they've outscored their opponents 33-6 in those games. Mozambique is 4-2-2 in their past eight. They drew Botswana 1-1 on January 8th, but these wins in that time have come against the likes of Lothato, Botswana, Benin, Mauritius, versus fellow AFCON teams like Nigeria and Algeria. They lost 3-2 and 2-0, but they did get those two goals against Nigeria, so they are capable of getting on the score sheet. Now, Egypt, they are the much better quality side here. They have one of the top players in the world in Liverpool's Mo Salah. They should probably win this game. This does look like an Egypt win. You could certainly do that in this parlay, or just simply ask Egypt to get one goal, play it safe, start this tournament off, and see how these teams look. To round of the parlay, it's Senegal and Gambia on Monday. The reigning champions of Senegal, the Lions of Taranga, are 20th in the world. Playing the underdogs, Gambia, the Scorpions, ranked 126th. Senegal are big favorites at minus 300. Money line odds to win. They come in in great form. They're 10-3-1 in their last 14. They've scored a goal in 11 of 14. They've kept clean sheets in each of their last four, also in nine of their last 14. Now, that strong defense was on display in the last African Cup of Nations, where they had clean sheets in five of seven games, and they only allowed two goals. The last match, in more, more recently this year, they warmed up with a 1-0 win over Niger on January, <coughs> January 8th. The 2021 AFCON was the first for Gambia, and they impressed reaching the quarterfinals and losing to Cameroon. They come into this AFCON, though, in cold form. They had no warm-up matches recently. They last played in November, losing 2-0 to the host nation, Ivory Coast. They're now winless in three. They're 2-2-4 two, two, and four in their last eight. They've allowed two or more goals in four straight games. But they've also scored two or more goals in three of four. Those scores have been a 2-0 loss, a 3-2 loss, a 2-2 draw, 
and a 3-2 win. Senegal is 2-2-0 versus Gambia all time, but the last game was back in 2015, so some time ago. Now, this tournament already had a bit of a bump in the road for Gambia. Quite a big bump in the road or in the air. The aircraft issue that made them return home was a scary situation where the plane was running out of oxygen and they had to return back to Gambia before turning around and coming back. Everyone is fine, but up against the star-studded side featuring Nicholas Jackson, Serge Aurier, Kaladu Koulibaly, Pat Matarsar, Edward Mendy, and the two-time African Player of the Year, Sadio Mane. This might just be too much for them in this first game. Senegal went to the World Cup, round of 16, losing to England, won the African Nations Championship in 2022 over Algeria, and are the second favorites to win the entire AFCON tournament. This should be a Senegal win. That's what I will do for this parlay. Senegal to win, Egypt to score, Nigeria to score, coming in at minus 130. If you bump your switch, e switch Egypt to score with Egypt to win, that could get you into plus money at plus 112. Parlay number two for African Cup of Nations. It's gonna be on Monday and Tuesday, starting with Algeria and Angola on Monday. 30th ranked Algeria takes on Minos, Angola ranked 117th as minus 200 favorites. Angola does lead the all-time series at one, two, and oh. But the last game was in 2010, and that one Angola win was in 2005. Back to present day, and this is the 20th AFCON for Algeria. They won in 2019, but they failed to advance from the group in 2021. They lost in the African Nations Championship Final in 2022 to Senegal. But they're on fire, entering this tournament being undefeated in 12 games. In their last 18 games, they have just one loss. They scored in 16 of those 18 games. They scored multiple goals in eight of the 18 games. They've kept clean sheets in 12 of 18. They have only two losses across their past 25 matches, and they won two January warm-up matches recently, 3-0 and 4-0. The best you can say about Angola is maybe, possibly, they could get a draw here because that's basically all they've done recently in their games. They drew 0-0 versus DR Congo in January friendly. They've now drawn five straight games with all of those last four games being 0-0 scores. They are also 0-6-1, so that's six draws in their past seven games. Now, those draws were against much weaker teams than Algeria. They have just two wins in 16 as well for Angola. This looks like an Algeria win to kick off this parlay. Now, that's just minus 200, so let's pair it with one more outcome and one more game to get a little bit more a manageable number. We'll go to Burkina Faso and Mauritania. This is on Tuesday. It's 57th, meeting 105th with Burkina Faso and Mauritania. Uh, playing in Group D. Uh, there's lots of actually recent head-to-head -head results between these two teams. Uh, Burkina Faso won 2-1 in a 2023 friendly. They drew 0-0 in a 2021 friendly. And during the AFCON qualifying in 2019, Burkina Faso won 1-0 and Mauritania won 2-0. Burkina Faso may not be a well-known nation, but they did make it to the third place game in 2021, losing to Cameroon. They had just one loss in their qualifying campaign leading into this tournament going three, two, and one in their group. Now coming in though, they have a mixed bag of results entering the tournament. They beat Congo DR two to one in a friendly January 10th, and they are now three, one, and two in their past six, but they are three, four, and three in their past 10. But those three losses, they are the only three losses in their past 14. There has been two or three goals in each of their past five games, so they could be a good over team. And they've also scored in all five of those games for a total of nine goals in their last five games. For Mauritania, not been, they've not been good in their two previous African Cup of Nations in 2021. They went 0-0-3. They were fourth in their group with the group, uh, group mates of Mali, Gambia, and Tunisia. They were outscored 7 to nothing. They didn't make it out of the group stage in their other tournament appearance either. Now, they drew Tunisia in a January friendly, which is a good result, but they are now winless in four games. Those scores have been a 0-0, a 0-0, 2-0, and a 2-1, and also 2-1. Also, they have now just three wins across their past 10, but they only have five losses in their past 20, so tough to really make heads or tails of how good they could be here. Let's just ask for a Burkino Faso goal in this parlay. So Algeria to win, Burkino Faso just to get one goal. That comes in at minus 115. Now, that will wrap up these parlays. If you want more African Cup of Nations content, I do have short previews on every team in a playlist at the end of this video. Those are my two, par two parlays for the next few days in AFCON. Be sure to drop me your picks down below in the comments, and best of luck with all of your AFCON picks this tournament.